Welcome to Sub-Saharan Africa's biggest wind farm. The Ashagoda wind power plant of Ethiopia will generate 120 megawatts of electric power from its two and three blade gear turbines. The electric city generated here can light 2 million 60 watt bulbs or supply power to 40,000 cooking stoves at a time. The power generating plants under construction and the ones completed in our country are all sources of renewable and green energy. These plants will assist the country green development program, irrigation and the growing industrialization which will help us grow faster. Ethiopia is one of Africa's leading countries in green energy production. Currently, the Sashagoda plant and the Adama wind power generating facility produce 170 megawatts of electricity. It means Ethiopia can now export more power to neighboring African states. So for in Africa, when you say it, because now we are part of the East Africa grid, we are going to be part of the continent uh, grid system. This project is also now already part of the East Africa uh, grid. So it is uh, contributing. It's a very big news for our uh, African brothers and sisters. The project, executed by the French Vernet company, cost about 220 million euros and took four years to complete the construction. Considering the strategic location of the country, uh, with the potential on all kind of renewables like wind, hydro, geothermal, even solar, uh, I think uh, the energy market situation is also known in our neighboring countries where the resource is so limited not like in Ethiopia so I think the power market will be very uh, attractive at the moment Ethiopia's domestic electric power coverage is about 52 percent on the other hand the country supplies close to 90 percent of Djibouti's electricity needs even out of this wind farm 30 million dollars a year can be found. Ethiopia expects even more out of its wind power plants. 850 megawatts of electric power is expected to be generated from wind farms like this one. Grumjala CCTV, Makale, Ethiopia.